Hi, welcome back. So, I know you're probably wondering what happened with my name your own price sale on Poshmark. So, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what worked, what didn't work, some mistakes I made, and some things that I would do differently um, the next time. So, uh, what I did was I did some video lead-ins to kind of build some hype and I posted it on Poshmark and I posted it on YouTube and I posted it on my Facebook page and I did that for a couple days and I was running the sale on Friday so I stopped sending offers I want to say Wednesday and Thursday two days and uh, I stopped um, sending offers and uh, on Thursday morning, when I got up, I went to uh, my shoppers and I sent a message out in bulk to all the people who have interacted with my closet before, letting them know that I had the sale coming and that I would accept any offer um, as long as the weight was under $5 for Friday. And I had my little... Um, listing that said, you know, name your own price on Friday, June 9th. So, I sent that out. It takes a while, too. I had over 700 um, shoppers that I sent this message to, and it took a while. And then I started getting um, people liking things in my closet. And I got a message from one lady, so this is one thing that I would do differently um, she said I wrote June 6th which was a couple days before this instead of June 9th okay so maybe one of the things I should do in the future is reread my message before I send it out um, that was Thursday morning not Friday and um, so all day Thursday, I had a lot of people liking things and I kind of got a little worried because some of the people were liking like 20 and 30 things on my, on my closet. And then I said, well, I'll just look, I'm not going to say anything to them yet. And later on, when I went back to look at their bundles, they had eliminated a lot of things. So I guess they were just, you know, sh window shopping to see what was going to happen. And then, um, you know, to see what they really wanted and what they didn't want. So Friday rolls around and then I wouldn't say it was crickets, but it was a lot slower than what I had anticipated because of all the people who were going and liking things that morning or yesterday, you know, Thursday morning as opposed to Friday. And so, um, I did okay over the weekend. Um, and if I want to compare, I still sold more on Poshmark that weekend than I did on eBay. So, it did do something for my closet. Um, and the offers that I got, I know people are really afraid to do the name your price sale, but um, I got reasonable offers. You know, I would, they weren't what I would call lowball. They were, they were good deals for both me and the buyer, I felt. So, um, you know, I did okay, but I knew that I had made several errors through this the things that I would do differently and and you know what the number one thing that I would do differently is I wouldn't put so much time into at least at this point in my career I wouldn't put so much time into these videos hyping it up because I'm not that big of a seller and I don't have that great of a social media following that it felt like I really had wasted some time and energy and I didn't get the response from those videos that warranted me putting that amount of time into it. So I wouldn't do that the next time, which is going to be soon, okay? Um, there's that. And then the other thing that I would do differently, I would still put my little uh, listing up there saying I'm going to have a name your own price sale on, you know, whatever day I decide to do it. And just have it in my random shares as I share throughout the next few days whenever I decide to have this next sale. 
but um and i would still maybe put it on pinterest and all the other social media sites just because it's a good practice i don't know how many people i've brought in through that uh but um i will not send out a notification the day before it will go out the morning of from now on and obviously i'm going to make sure that i write, write it correctly the one thing that I do think that I did well was um, I, I was very prepared for it. Um, before I ran the sale, I went through and I raised the price up 20% on everything. And the reason why is because, um, you know, these offers, they when they make these name your price offers they can't go lower than 20 percent of what you were actually asking so if somebody is smart and they know that then whatever 20 percent of i'm at least going to make back the money that i spent on whatever item it is so um i did that and I'm, i would do that again and i would send out my notification that morning to let people know and the other thing that I would still continue to do is just do offers as they come along through the days coming up and even on that day. And the reason why I think I would still do that is because just because somebody likes something in your closet, they may not be aware of the sale. They might have just been browsing and found something and put a like on it. So I will still continue as I normally do, you know, day to day running the page Poshmark closet, I would still send out my offers and bundle things for, for potential buyers. So that's something that I would do different because I think I let a little, a lot of little things slip through the cracks that I could have sold anyway, instead of putting so much weight on the name, your price. I think, um, I'm, you know, it's just to give it a boost is really what I will do the next time and use it as an enhancement instead of an event. So that's what I learned this time. I, you know, like I said, I did okay. And my Poshmark closet did better than my eBay store that week. So it wasn't a complete failure, but I did learn a lot. If you have any questions, please don't he hesitate to put them in the comments below. Give me a like if you look like these kind of visit, uh, visits. Do you hear me? Videos. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again. Bye.